Give no praise on the glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Racha Wadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and it's a serious on the one to the action that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Uh, this is going to be a really quick video. Uh, you can see by the title, this is the importance, okay, the importance of um, self education, man, okay. Um, now, when you look at these three comments, <clears throat> there's actually four, but for whatever reason, YouTube keeps blocking some comments that like that that show up which i'm i'm actually glad it does um so uh the the importance okay of self-education which i really you know you really shouldn't have to explain but um you know sometimes you kind of got to go over you know the most basic things you know because the most basic things can actually be uh the milk it can, can it will carry you the rest of the way okay you don't always got to go to the meat you got to go to, you got to start off with the milk man and a lot of times you go back to the to the to the to the milk, okay. Now, me personally, I don't I don't really dive deep into really anything. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever you know, all my as you can see, all my videos are basic, you know, and easy to understand. Okay, all of our videos are basic and easy to understand. Some videos that some some then you know a lot of brothers do are deeper than others, but as they explain, you can you you'll easily grasp it if the lord allows you to okay think about it like this man i'm speaking english you're speaking english okay and if you're in the same if you're in the same doctrine you know what i'm saying or you you you're, you're kind of with it you know what i'm saying you understand what, what we're saying okay so here's the thing the importance of self-education right like i said going back to these comments and i want to get a, i want to get a scripture first of all let me let me let me start off with a scripture okay this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. It says, study to shoot thyself approved. Okay? Study to shoot thyself approved. Right? That's what you got to do. Study to shoot yourself approved, to show yourself approved. All right? Unto the most high. Okay? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Okay? Rightly dividing the, the word of truth. So, when you're studied up, you're a workman, right? That doesn't need to be ashamed. Okay? Because you don't have a reason to because you're studied. Okay? So now we're going to go back to these comments. The first one here. Um, well, let's, before we get to the first one, let's see, let's see what, we, what, he, what they got going on here. Right. Absolutely nothing. Right. Okay. All right. Just, just want to make sure. Never heard of the book of Ezra. <clears throat> is no such book. Okay. Repentance is to turn away from sin. Okay. Um, again, this is the importance of self-education. Well, this is why we always promote self-education. Once you hear it, l grow. You know what I'm saying? You can't be stagnant. When you pick up the Bible, I don't care who you are. When you pick up the Bible, you cannot be stagnant. You have to grow, okay? You have to grow. You have to, you have to do research. You got to go into words. You can't just pick up the Bible and think you got the understanding. It don't work like that, okay? And this is where... A comment like this comes from Ezra. Do you know who Ezra is? Do you know he is actually in the Bible? Okay. Do your research. Okay, and this is what where I you know I reply. Well, if you never heard of it, then how can you say that there's no such book? You got to do more research on who or who that is and where the book is before you give the sacrifice of fools. And that's exactly what what this what this comment is. I never heard of the book, so that means no such it's no such thing. Then you gotta learn how to turn from sin. Do you see what I'm saying? So you gotta do you gotta do extra research. You gotta look you gotta look at videos, Google it. You got everybody's got a, everybody's got a phone. Everybody in that great great grandmother got a phone. Okay? A, a smartphone that has access to the internet. Everybody's got access to the internet. Homeless people somewhat have access to the internet. You know what I'm saying? They need and they educate themselves, man. That is the importance. Right. So. You believe in the Bible. But before before you heard of the Bible, you didn't know the Bible existed. So you just going to say that there's no such book. All right, here we go. All right. So, again, you got to study to show yourself approved. Now we're going to go into this next one. Um, This one here is not really, you know, it's whatever, you know, we, 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 we get this from time to time again. That's this, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, 
so you pick really good pieces of the, of the scriptures to share. Okay, whatever. Um, constructive, constructive criticism. Okay, everybody knows I don't got a problem with that. Okay, but uh, let's see what he got going on here. I just, let's let's see. Uh, okay, he's got a little something, but it's nothing. Um, according to the Bible. You know, there's nothing according to doctrine. There's nothing edifying about that. Okay. Right. Right. So, anyway. Uh, he says, my delivery was rushed. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the video. this is See, that that, that part right there. He said, uh, the, what, you, what, what you have to share is important. It's not about what I got to share. It's about the words of the Lord. How about Shimi al Shai? It's not about me. Okay. And we say this all the time. These people come come on your comment board and don't know what the hell is going on. We had a guy like that come up yesterday, right? Um, and just started immediately judging skin color. Yeah, and y'all talk about my skin color. And we, we never said a thing to this guy. And he immediately just started judging and stuff like that. And it's just like, you have no idea what we're talking about here, right? But this come, but certain things come from these other Israelite groups, like that whole skin color thing. Us at Great Millstone, we do not teach. We race is not skin color. When you look at the definition of race, it is not skin color. Okay, you will never see anything about skin color because race has nothing to do with the color of your skin. Okay, look at the definition of this is the, again. It, this goes to the the um the title the, the 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 topic of the video, right? You said my delivery is messed up. It's rushed and stuff like that. My point, my point is important, but but it, it but it gets lost in your rushed uh, delivery. <clears throat> Again, this is where Matthew thirteen and nine comes in. Okay, if you meant to get it, then you're just meant to get it. If not, then it is what it is. There, I there is nothing deep about this video. I did. Jake don't understand repentance is open to them. We're so deep about that. What is so hard to get about that? I have zero clue. Right? There is nothing hard to get about that. I don't say anything extravagant. Right? I am not an eloquent speaker. Okay? <laughs> you know, you're like, what is... So, if you have a problem understanding what I'm saying, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh which is very simple. Right? Then... It's either you're not speaking English, we're not speaking the same language, which we're obviously not if you can't understand, or or something's just really, really mentally wrong with you. I'm not making fun of nobody's mental state because I don't do that. I'm not like that, right? But something is really wrong if you can't understand something as simple as Jake doesn't understand the point, the, the importance of repentance. And I don't even think that's a, that's, I don't even know if that's a 15 minute video or I, it may not even be long. Okay. Okay, here we go. Obadiah 118, okay? Which we all know what Obadiah 118 says. Life is rigged. No Israelite can repent without the Lord, uh, without the Lord putting the spirit on him. Well, we understand that, and this is where, you know, simple scriptures, man's going to the Lord, okay? For Colossians 1 and 16, it's simple, man. Again, you got you to, gotta, and, you know, more than likely one of them hot-headed Israelites that leave comments like this, which is very, very unnecessary. You know, uh, Obadiah um, 1, 118. Okay, you're, you're so focused, okay, on Esau going down and Esau this and Esau that. But you're not, you're not educating yourself and you're not being, uh, first of all, you're not, um, what's that scripture? Uh, I just had it. You're not, you're not educating yourself and you're not, you're, you're, you're not avoiding your. That's what I wanted to say. You're not avoiding yourself from being ignorant of his devices. So you could be on fire about Esau going down this and Esau going down that. Everybody knows the fate of Esau, Edom. Okay. So the last comment, you know, um, last comment for whatever reason it, bl it blocks out a lot of this. I have no idea why it does that. It says, uh, it says, wait, did you just say you may have to pay child support to the bitch? Because that's what I said in that video. I said what I said, man. I mean everything I say in these videos. Okay? It says, are you using this piece of scripture to air your own personal and biased-minded trials? Now, just because I mentioned child support doesn't mean I'm going through it. Okay? I personally, 
do not do not mess with relationships okay that's just me personal personally so no i'm not going through child support okay <laughs> what i what, what and this is where I, I, again you got to go to the the term edification okay and this is what i left them. so one thing you must understand a small part of edification is pointing out, pointing out examples that others may be going through so you can help them psalm 51 said what you know, I acknowledge my transgressions so I can acknowledge, so I can teach tra uh, transgressors, you know what I'm saying, their sin and, 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 and uh, what's the other one? Shoot my people their transgressions, right? Okay. So that's one small part of pointing out things. This is what happens when you have no zero clue of what's going on. You hear child support because... You automatically don't like the Hebrew Israelites, so you got to point out, well, you're using this to air your own personal. No, I don't go through it because, again, I don't mess with relationships. I avoid the situations in general. That's just me personally, okay? It says, um, and, you know, it, that may be a bit much of uh, personal info. I don't care. I mean, I, say, I tell everybody that. Look, I don't mess with relationships. I mean, that's just my choice. You know what I'm saying? That's just my choice, okay? But... Being a watchman, Ezekiel 3, okay, being a watchman, you got to cover all different angles, right? So just because I mentioned, yeah, man, it's just messed up, paying child support, being being a homo. So you're saying I'm a homo because you saying I'm, I'm a homo because I mentioned homosexuality? So it's the same situation, man, okay? It says, um, now what I, what I continuing on, I said, I don't have to pay child support because I don't deal with relationships, but that may be something that somebody else is, that someone watching the video is going through. And that's why I say, that's why we say certain, a lot of, a lot of things like that, man. Okay. That's why we say a lot of things like that. Now we're going to go into some more scriptures, right? Uh, let's see what I want first. Let's see here. Uh, maybe second Peter one and 10. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's get that. Um, it says, wherefore, uh, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Now when you go into diligence, right? And this is where I'm going into, you know, the, the, the direction with this. Let's, let's Google, let's Google. Um, so you go to diligence, careful and persistent work or effort. Now, when you talk about diligence, like a uh, accomplishing a diligent search. What do you what do you what do you mean by accomplishing a diligent search? When you give when you're being diligent, you know what I'm saying in in the Lord, so to say. When you're being diligent, you are trying your very best, right, to uh, expound your knowledge, right, study more and get better understanding. We tell you we tell you what you could do. To, to, to get better understanding. Why the video is look, look in the commentaries and stuff like that, man. There's so much information out there. It's really no excuse. But you get these people that get that that listen to a little bit, you know, listen a little bit, and then they and then they they're so quick to jump. Because again, a lot of people automatically don't like Hebrew Israelites, so they try to find little things to pick on and try to and try and just try your very best to get under your skin, knowing that. Well, when, when you ask questions to, to a certain degree, that betters us because that just sharpens us up. Like we, we may have something that come up that we never heard, that, you know, that we haven't heard in a long time. And we need to brush up on that. And it's like, oh, OK, well, we appreciate it. So your little comments and stuff like that, you know, what I'm saying I remember years ago, man, I, I would be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with these with these people on the comment board. But I, I I respond to them maybe once or twice to see where they're going at because some of these people that get on the comment board are, are actually asking legitimate questions sometimes, right? These people is whatever, okay? But some people are actually looking to get edified, and that's why I do it. You know, that's why I do do little things like that. Certain people I just don't pull scriptures out on because you just don't need it, right? It, you know, you just waste your time, right? And I'm going to get that in a second. Certain people you just, you don't, you don't argue with. Okay. I mean, the scriptures say that. So when you talk about being diligent in the Lord, you got to be, you got to grow. You can't be stagnant. You can't hear, you can't hear something and just ride off of it. The problem with a lot of people, Jake specifically, is reading, reading, increasing knowledge. That's, that's our biggest problem because we don't like reading. Okay. 
So we got rid of that. Got rid of that. Um, these two actually kind of, kind of, pretty much say the same. We're gonna get this one first. Proverbs. No, we're gonna get this one first. Proverbs one and five. This says a wise man will hear. Now listen. It says my a wise man will hear and will increase learning. What do you think that is? That's not just talking about hearing you and just riding, just riding off it. We always say one thing, man. You don't believe us? Look it up for yourself. I mean, I mean, this is why we have. This is why I screen record so you know I'm not. We not making nothing up. But we don't even need the screen. We, we tell you, look it up. Look it up. You know what I'm saying? Just look it up. I mean, the proof is right there. This is why we go into words. Again, this is why you can't just open up the Bible like that said, like that guy said, well, nah, man, or, or woman, whoever it was. Nah, well, I, I never heard of Ezra, so any 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 no you know, such book. You see what I'm saying? And again, if you knew any better, Ezra's is in the Bible. I'm talking about the regular Bible. It's not just in the Apocrypha. So we, but before we that's a person you can't you can't jump straight to the Apocrypha. You gotta you gotta start off with look, who the hell who who is Ezra? Right? And and second of all, before we get to all of that, how do you turn from the how do you turn from your sin? Because a lot of people mess up on that part too. A lot of people mess up on that. How do you turn from your sin? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just well, you trust in God. Okay, well, how do you trust in God? You know what I'm saying? You follow the will of God. Well, how do you follow the will of God? Because ain't nobody doing it, it seems like. Everybody that talks about this, we need to follow the will of God, are still following holidays, man. You know what I'm saying? Are, are still not trying their very best to keep the high holy days and trying to trying their very best to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. When, now, we're in the middle ground. You got Christians that say, well... You don't have to keep the law at all. But then you got these other Israelite camps that say, well, it's all about the law. The law and faith goes hand in hand with each other, man. Faith without works is dead. Remember that. That that small and James, that one scripture alone balance that balances that that mess out, man. Faith without works is dead. You must have faith. Right? But you just can't sit on your on your ass and do nothing. So you must have the works or else it's dead. Okay. Easy. That's easy. It's easy, man. It's these, it's the people. It's the people that make things extra hard, man, because the, of the way the Bible is written, right? You got to remember the Lord allowed the Bible to be tampered with a hundred thousand times over all because why it's a mystery. This is why I said, Matthew 13. That's what it goes back to. Well, your rush, it, 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 your message gets lost. Well, apparently you understood it. You said I brought out a lot of good points. And that's why I said, well, apparently you understood it. So my mission is complete. It's give is is whoever gets it, whoever doesn't. I what, what these people don't understand is it's about the elect. We're not doing this for the entirety of the internet. It's because we don't know who the elect is and we got we, we we talk to the crowd, you know what I'm saying? We talk to the world and the elect is sprinkled amongst, you know what I'm saying? We don't even know we the elect, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, a wise man will hear. So you will hear it and you will get that bug in your ear, right? So cold. <laughs> it says it will in will increase knowledge. I mean it will increase learning, sorry. It says, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. So, Proverbs 9 and 9. Okay. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a man and he will increase in learning. Okay. So, that's all I got on this, man. You know, it's the importance of self-education, man. It's, it's the importance of learning and educating yourself. Okay. Anyway, giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rokakwada, Shalom.